television starts living up to its name today. For the past month, Sky Network has been screening free in Greater Auckland. But now viewers will have to pay for the sports, news and movie channels. Michael Wilson reports. The league, the Aussie league, it's got to be good for you. That's how one punter summed up his reason for forking out $400 for a decoder and $11.25 a week to subscribe for Sky's three channels. Of the three, Sky's Richard Anderson says sport will be the draw card. I think that'll really be the reason that people buy Sky. Um, and I think uh, uh, the movies and the news will really help retain them um, as, as customers. A last-minute rush for decoders swamp Sky's phone lines and produce big queues at its service counters. Rental firms also did good business today. We're in the situation that we're so busy we can't physically install them. So people are just coming in and taking them away. Sky admits the network is going to air in difficult times, but Anderson says they have planned for a gradual build-up. We're guess guessing that uh, 10 to 20 percent of people ultimately take Sky. Um, with those numbers, uh, um, we're in very good shape, and we're planning that that's, that's over a two- to three-year period. Anderson says Sky could even benefit from the tough economic times as people look more to home entertainment. Michael Wilson, One Network News.